I'm Joey Anser. For those of you who remember our hit short film, Street Fighter Legacy, that was only the beginning. It's been a long, difficult, hard road to get to where we are now. It's taken almost four years of creative development, passion and dedication. But my great team and I are finally here and we're about to start filming our live action series, Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, it's a multi-generational story, starting from Gotetsu, the Grandmaster, the last true master of Ansatsuken, passing this knowledge down on to two brothers, Goken and Goki, who end up going separate ways. And then we have our last generation, Ryu and Ken, and you're gonna find out whether the tragedy of that middle generation is gonna be passed down to Ryu and Ken or whether it can be diverted. And that is ultimately Goken, who spans both time period his his dilemma can i pass on that knowledge and save this generation is it going to block your attacks or go into your stomach it is. It is. so it's almost like an outward but then i think boom. jody is keeping 100 percent faithful to the fighting style of these characters Assassin's Fist is the English translation of Ansatsuke, which is the assassination fist killing Japanese style that was developed in feudal times that Ryu and Ken are practitioners of. They're the last torchbearers of this style. Well, I've actually only uh, known Chris in person for the last couple of weeks that we've been uh, prepping for the shoot, but it's already evident that, you know, it seems like we've been training under the same yeah, master for years. We've got the, got the Ken Ryu bromance kind of going on here and, you know, there's a great rapport. Hey, come on. Yeah. that coin now. Okay, so, okay. yeah, it's been great training together and uh, working through the lines and, and there's definite rapport there that's, that's, you know, what Ryu and Ken's all about. They're the best of friends and they're the bitterest rivals as well. Agreed. Sort of competitive. So we're wrecking the locations today and they are stunning. We've got Akuma's cave, which is just epic in proportions. A 3900 jack knife, all this stuff, ham, ham, ham. He then ends it just with a regular big palm that blasts out. What the fans are gonna see here is a new level of authenticity towards the brand. They won't have seen it before. In the previous incarnations of Street Fighter, it's been very much Hollywoodized. We're true to the story, true to the origins of Street Fighter, and uh, I think you're in for a real treat. The costumes are so authentic that it's like the characters literally stepped out of the anime. You know, after I read the script for Assassin's Fist, I was kind of blown away. Don't you still want me from last time? Yeah. Watch me clear that deck. Let me look at you. If you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it. If you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. I've been eating iron for six months to get ready for this. I was a twig. But now I'm more like Gaku. get them in the series. Part of Goki's training regime, his training is going to be stepping up to the next level. So getting in a lot of difficult body weight exercises, gymnastic strength stuff is something I really want to get in. It's like going back to the old Rocky training montages. Very good, Akira. You can stay 100% faithful and make it work in live action. It just takes hard work. Yeah, and that's where we're going to come in and redefine this genre. 
you know, we've got the passion for it and we know so much about this source material. I think even die-hard fans are going to be surprised at the level of detail we're putting in here. And we can't wait to show you why this series is going to be so different to anything else you've seen before. Yeah.